So this is our home as we were still building it and the derrick in the background is 16 feet outside the minimum distance that they can be from our water well. We've got 24 gas wells on the 1,000 acres. Most of them are, we can see from the house, they're very close. Uh, we actually have one that's 100 feet inside the limit. You know, and, and I've heard said by some of the people here, that they, some of the Australian state governments and the national governments, we have the best regulations, they say. We have the most stringent standards. Well, Wyoming says the same thing. <laughs> and if you read some of Wyoming's regulations, I guess compared to the crap that they've got in the rest of the country, they are good. We have three or four inspectors for the whole state. The rules are not enforced. Their idea of an inspection here they would put the casing in the ground and cement it, and on the sundry, the forms that they fill out daily on the rig of all the functions they do, there would be a thing, cement inspection, and there would be a check mark by it. What we found out what that was is they call the Wyoming Oil and Gas Conservation Commission inspector on the phone and say, we cemented the well, and he'd say, okay, check the box. <laughs> out of the 200 wells drilled here, there was never one inspected by the state. So you can have all the paper rules that you want, but it's, if they're not enforced, they're not worth the paper they're written on. And they're going to tell you that over and over and over. Not only is this safe, and we've been doing it for years, but we've got the best regulations that there is. Well, there's one regulation that you need, and that's to ban this. 